59th and 3rd. What? 59th and 3rd. Still haven't gotten used to these things. I say, I, I say, I, I say I still haven't gotten used to these things. Right. If you heard about this foreign country where the cab drivers needed bulletproof glass, what would you say? Who wouldn't believe it? Uh, should I take the park or go around? What? What? I usually take the park. I, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, which do you want? Not only can't I shoot you, I can't hear you. Do you want me to take the park? What? What? I'm taking the park. Why are you taking the park? I thought we'd uh, we'd grab a bite together before the game tonight. How did you know I was here? Well, your uh, your secretary told me. My secretary told you I was here. I uh, I didn't know you got the axe. <laughs> I didn't get the axe. Well then, uh... well we're expanding, and I'm looking for some new executives. Mr. Evers. Oh, thank you. Maybe, uh, maybe these people could, could help me. You need a job? No, I need a, a top guy to work for me. Who, who work cheap. To do what? Well, to run my business for me, be, before I kill it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everybody thinks there's a fortune in the garment business, but uh, if, if I don't come up with a big style soon, uh, I'm bankrupt. Oh, Mr. Evers, you can go in. Oh. Oh, uh, come in. Come on. Oh, boy, I've got to get another job. I mean, the stories you hear. Like that fella that just left. He's got six kids. He's worked 32 years with the same company. No savings, and he's out. Just out. No one always gets you when they say, I don't have to make as much money. What's the matter with me lately? I'm going through two boxes a week. Listen, maybe it would be better for you if I came back at another time. No, no, no. It's all right. Ah, oh, now, may I see your resume? Sure. How long have you been out of work? Well, I'm not actually out of work. It's just that I produced this uh, daytime television program. Oh, which one? Let's chance it. Uh -huh. <sighs> anyway, um, 
the ratings have been slipping and... Oh, I, I don't think that that they're going to cancel it. I mean, I don't think that they'd really fire me, but I thought maybe if there were some better opportunities... Well, I don't think you're going to have any problem at all. Do you mean that? Well, with this background, I can practically guarantee you the salary you want, and you can almost pick the part of the country you want to settle in. Oh, my. Oh, my. I can't tell you how that makes me feel. I was so worried. The ratings, everything my wife said, you don't have anything to worry about, and she was right. I'll just write some letters to the companies we deal with, and you can come in next week and sift through the offers. I can't tell you how that makes me feel. I feel so relieved. Relieved? That isn't the right word. I feel terrific. Me too. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I'll get in touch with you next week at the latest, Mr. Wood. My name isn't Wood. That's what it says on the resume. A man out there handed me a resume. That must have been Mr. Wood. Okay, let's see your resume. A year and a quarter of college. Look, you want to talk to Wood? You put down here that you were once an usher. A page boy. Not an usher, a page boy. I'm sorry. What's the difference? Well, there isn't any. All right, and you produce this TV show, Let's Chance It, for five years, and before that, you assisted somebody who did it. And now you're willing to relocate and change fields? Work for less money? <laughs> Harry, right now you have a good job. Believe me, you have a good job. What if I lose it? If you lose it, it is no longer a good job. Harry, I want you to come and see me next week. For what? What's the use? Well, please. Come on, come back next week, huh? Come back, will you? Well, if you want me to. Where are you going now? I don't know. Get something to eat, to go to my poker game. You know, your wife is still right. There's nothing to worry about. She usually is. Second marriage. No, no, first. My marriage is the only thing I've got working for me. Uh, Harry, about the poker game. You don't play for a lot of money, do you? No. Good. You know, it's just no fun the way we've been playing. Why not raise the stakes a little at a time? That way we can see how it's all going to turn out. The point is, we haven't been playing poker. Can somebody tell me what we've been doing every Thursday night for four years? Playing cards, not poker. Look, when you can't bet enough to force anybody out, it's just not poker. It's a friendly game. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Oh. oh. I mean, what are you going to lose? A couple of hundred bucks. <coughs> well, let's, let's try it. <coughs> Unless, Harry, you, you don't want to play for that much. No, it's fine with me. Let's play cards. Tonight, it's poker. Shoot 900. Yeah, it all adds up. Okay, here it is. Dave, you're down $710. Uh, you wanted to raise the stakes. I'm down 380. Do you know with the old stakes, that would have been a record loss. Tonight is like being a winner. Mike, you, uh, you owe $950. 950 You guys had quite a night. Quite a night. Quite a night. I guess we were pretty lucky. We just, uh... Just had a hot corner, I guess. Bob? Bob? <laughs> you, uh... You owe, uh... You owe $1,675. One hundred... No, six hundred... Uh, um, what was that? Bob, it's $1,675. Sixteen hundred dollars. I have to work a long time for that kind of money. 380. That's mine. Harry, you won 2450. Marvin, you won 1265. Split it up. 
This is really very embarrassing to win this much money. I don't know what to say. I feel terrible taking it. Dick, do you have any ice water? In the refrigerator. Winning this much, it's, it's terrible. That's what's so rotten about the stakes, you know? I mean, the, the winners feel rotten. And the losers feel even worse. It's just uh, terrible. now oh oh dick mm -hmm. you paid didn't you this is yours in the middle isn't it that's mine oh you guys gonna pay or you want uh, our seconds to contact you in the morning <laughs> <laughs> well, i guess uh, i guess i shouldn't joke about it um it is a lot of money to lose uh... no oh bob wait uh you owe 1675 I'm not going to pay. You agreed to the stakes. Agreed to it. It was his idea. Look, if uh, you're a little shorter... It's... Short? No, no. I've got the money. I just refuse to pay. Bob, you can't do that. I mean, you can't just do that. <laughs> well, I know one thing. If he can do it, so can I. You'll never play in this game again, ever. What game? No, you guys gonna play three-handed or something? No. Well, wait a minute, everybody. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's no more game. Come on, Harry. What are you gonna do about it? Bob, I think I'm going to hit you. No? We're not tough guys. We're not kids. We're all just businessmen. And businessmen don't go around hitting each other. So let's try to act civilized. Hey, this is my house. I don't want anything broken. Goodbye. Bob. Bob, wait. Hmm? I think I'm going to hit you again. Ala! 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 Bob, you're a dirty fighter. Why don't you fight fair? Ala! Who do you hit me for? For bluffing me with four of Not fair. Oh, I'm sorry. I want you out of my house. Ah! Oh! Okay, Marvin, I warned you. The table's okay. I don't want to fight you, Dick. I mean, I mean, you play ball in college and I didn't, and you work out and I don't. The coffee table is okay. Let go. Yeah, let go. You better let go. Oh, my God. I think my tooth is loose. Let go. No. I always chickened out when I was a kid. I'm not going to chicken out now. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not going to let go. What are you talking about? You got to let go of him sooner or later anyway. What, are you going to go through life like that? Okay, mister. I'm going to tell you again. What's that mister business? You're not Jimmy Cagney. Oh. I'm winning. How do you like that? I'm winning. I'm losing. Marvin, I'm losing. I want you out of the house. I want you out of the house. Get 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 out of really something back there. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been in a fight? 
Never. <laughs> Never? How about when you were a kid? Nobody was ever mad at me. Does it look like I've been in a fight? No. You know, it's, uh, it's gonna seem funny not, not having the, the game in. I know. Maybe we can get up another poker game. We've had two seats open in this one for six months and we, we couldn't fill them. I mean, not, not too many guys can, uh, can get away one night a week. Incredible, isn't it? I mean, I, I need my one night out. I know that. I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I'm, I'm not afraid to, to tell my wife that the, the poker game never broke up. How about we, uh, we get together next Thursday anyway? I don't know. What will we do? Anything we want to. I'm awake. Did I wake you? No, I was thinking. Are you at all interested in what I was thinking about? You've been thinking about us. You really think that's all I have to think about, don't you? All right. What were you thinking about? Well... I've been thinking that when we go to visit David at camp, I really don't want to bring my mother. Well, just tell her then. No. Or say that we're not going to visit him. Oh, she won't believe that. I mean, she's not going to believe we only saw him once all summer. And if she did believe it, then I'd have even more trouble with her. Well, she's really driving me crazy lately. Forget it. It's my problem. No, no. Let's talk about it. Why, when it's the last thing in the world you want to talk about? No, it isn't. As I was coming in just now and noticing that it was 3 a.m., I said to myself, Golly, I hope Lynn's awake so we can discuss her mother. I said it was my problem. Have you ever been a member of Women's Lib? Oh, I don't care for it. I mean, I don't want to be any engineer or anything. I just want to be a good wife and mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Mrs. Williams, will you risk the vacation right. for this new car? I don't, know, tighter. I don't think she's going to be any good. Your subject will be the flicks. I'll see you, two shots. The flicks? Yeah, old movies. Can you pull back a little on the car? I'll go for it, but you better duck if I lose. <laughs> she's pretty good. All right. Hey, 15 seconds. You are looking to the eyes on him, Jerry. of an all-time no, favorite right. character right. actor. Who gets the black? The ratings didn't come in yet today. Oh, oh, yes. They're, They're on your busy. desk. Hi. See you later. Okay. Any ideas yet? Well, it's sort of hard with the Ready with commercial. Three. Well, let's see if this cool makes it easier. Do you like the Sure. You never saw me get the girl. So many times, the was Oh. Sydney Green Street. Claude Rains? 2.8. That's not good, is it? It is if the show against you is 2.7. And what is? 18. Hey, this is pretty good. What's pretty good? Well, they were rotten last month, too. They didn't take any action against you then, so maybe they're not going to. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you feeling better. Look, you're going to have to get some new resumes made up. Cut out the page boy stuff and uh, name the college without saying how long you went there. Okay. You think uh, something's going to happen with my job? Well, no, it's just that if something better comes along, you want to be ready, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got to go. Thanks. 
Oh, where are you going? Another poker game? No, no, that broke up last week. I promised to meet this guy I know for dinner. Don't drink too much. No, no, just dinner. Good. Come and talk whenever you want to. Thanks. <laughs> How you doing? Fine, good. good. I'll uh, drink whatever he's got. It's funny, this is, uh, I guess this is the first time we've ever gotten together outside the poker game. I guess so. Do you, uh, you, you notice how everybody, uh, looked at me when I came in? Yes, I did. My design. <laughs> I, th I think it's the right next step, you know? I mean, wh why, why is there always a cloth covered over a man's zipper. Everybody knows there's a zipper there, and they know why. It's just a very uh, uptight, uh, puritanical, old-fashioned thing. I mean, wouldn't uh, would you rather wear this? I'm sorry, Marvin, but I don't think so. I, I don't Same. know whether I'm coming Same to talk sometimes. Talk about I don't, that's why I don't ever talk about much. Same. Can I talk? Can I just get one thing in I've been trying to get in? Excuse me. Uh, the kitchen's going to close soon, and I thought perhaps you'd like to order. See, I'm not, uh, I'm really hungry, I don't think. You better not get loaded. They know we don't drink when we play poker. Uh, a couple of steaks. Do you mind if I order for myself? Oh, I'm sorry. What do you want? Well, I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell the waiter. What are you making problems? I mean, this, this is a steakhouse, you know. I think I'll have a steak. What's wrong with your job? When you came in here, you were very happy about that new thing that you designed. Yeah, but that's the best idea I've ever had. If I were in some other field and I, I came up with the most brilliant idea of my life, it'd be something more important than zippers. You're crazy. What you do is very important. Wow. Well, the whole country is on a style binge, especially in men's clothes. It's not like it used to be, you know that. Today, clothes have to they have to say something. And with those zippers, you've given people something new to say. That's significant. You know you're a hell of a guy, Harry. Are we gonna play poker next week? I guess so. What do you wanna do? I don't know. But, but we're, we're definitely getting together. I told you, yes. Honey, what are you doing? I'm blowing up my shorts. I have to get in there. Come in, then. You're trying to make me feel ridiculous. Beautiful up here. Yeah. Don't you think so? The rating slipped again. How much? Point two. You're not going to say anything? You can't say one thing to help me out? Can't you even act as if you care? But I don't care about the ratings. I care about anything that makes you feel bad. Because I really want you to be happy all the time. And when you're not, I always feel like it's my fault, and then that makes me a little crazy. Why can't I ever say things like that? I'm not crazy about this camp, you know. Any reason? Well, that name, for one thing. <laughs> 
fact, it is a silly name. For a very good reason, Mr. Evers. We felt it would be almost inhuman to teach children Indian crafts in a country where the red man is forced to live in such poverty. Well, thank you very much for your time. I wonder, could we see David now? David's counselor will be along in just a moment. Thank you. Mr. Evers, I feel that you have a great many prejudices against us. And I feel very frustrated that I can't seem to make contact with you. Sure is different from the camp he went to last year. Mr. and Mrs. Evers. I'm Tom, David's counselor. Hi! Hi! How are you? I feel somewhat nervous at having to meet David's parents. I feel aware of wanting to make an impression on you. Partly because of ego. Partly because I want a good tip. And how are you? <laughs> fine! Fine! I'll go get David. What's wrong? Well, it's just there's something I wanted to tell you when I saw you. And it's sort of tough. I feel real nervous and embarrassed. OK. What I wanted to say was, I love you two guys a whole lot. David, I just want you to know that was a really terrific thing to hear you say. We encourage them to get in touch with their feelings about their parents. The hard part is expressing it. I'm never sure about tipping. Is that good, what I just gave you? Sort of average. That's what I wanted. David, you remember that camp that you went to last summer? Do you ever miss canoeing, stuff like that? Sometimes. I'm very glad to hear that. Well, we're doing something right, thank God. Incredible, isn't it? We're obviously tremendous parents. Can I ask you a question about you and me? Sure. Are we in trouble? No, no. I mean, if we're in trouble, I'd really like to know about it. We're not in trouble. Why, that's your whole trouble. What's my whole trouble? Forget it. I want to know what my whole trouble is. What is my whole trouble? You don't want a wife. You just want somebody to play with. How can you say that? What person in his right mind would want a sexy playmate when they could have a wife? Oh. Everybody knows by now that there's a movement for uh, the liberation of women afoot in the world. And if there hadn't been already, my next guest's book, uh, The Female Eunuch, which I believe is out paperback now, would have started one. Here she is, uh, a terrific lady, a former female eunuch, Jermaine Greer. We 
Would you consider it unromantic if I finish this Sunday? Slight like tongue in cheek. Uh, that women, You're just doing uh, it because you know it turns me on. Their undergarments. One, one. I didn't tongue say. In one I, didn't I have say a terrific they idea. Should abandon their undergarments. I said. I said. Why don't we both read chapter eight of that book you keep buying copies of, and then tomorrow night we could stay home. And I couldn't think why I was. What do you think? I mean, you know, I mean. Huh? There wasn't really any reason. Well, uh, and tomorrow. It was a hot day, Why? baby. Tomorrow's my poker night. You mean this is what you call happy? You mean this is what you call high? Yesterday I was up. Today I'd call that a lie. I mean, wasn't I just beginning? Now how come I'm halfway through? This is what life is all about. I mean, when does the dream start coming true? The grabbing, the grinding, the never finding a permanent place to park. The person you know so well, you can show how scared you are of the dark. You mean this is what you call happy? You mean this is what you call free? Well, if this is what you call laughing and crying and living and dying, then this is what I call being me. Let's get back to the second half of our show and our host, Bruce Lockhart. insult you with euphemisms, Harry. You're fired. certainly do. I always thought you did. Well, you were right. And they said you head up the creative end, and Mel will take care of the business side. I said, but we're both on the same level, aren't we? And they said yes. That's not exactly true. I've always been on a higher level. Say it, Mel. You're my boss. Not your boss. Oh, no, please. You said no euphemism. Just say it. You're my boss. I was your boss. But since I just fired you, I am not your boss anymore. Then there's nothing more you can do to me. sakes you can't break anything in here Harry 
But we haven't even talked about severance pay. I'm sorry, Miss Bender isn't in today. Oh. Oh. She's not in. Any message? Oh, no. Oh, no. Just tell her I dropped by to say hi. There's nothing I can do about it. We're a little behind. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to catch up. Well, I can cancel the order. I'll, I'll return your, your deposit. What, whatever you want is fine. But I, I can't promise when I'll be able to get the order there. You stinking rat. Harry, what are you doing here? You kept all this to yourself, didn't you? All what? The fact that you now have five whole floors. Five whole floors. Well, we, uh, we got a little busy. Hmm. Marvin, tell the truth. You're rich, aren't you? Yeah, I am. That's why you've been acting funny lately. How'd you do it? Those zippers? Those zippers made you rich. Zippers! Well, you were the one who told me how important they were. I lied! Zippers aren't important! There's no way that zippers could possibly be important! Harry, I have work to do. Not only did you get rich, but you were sneaky about it. Will you please tell me wh why you're being so... So what? So vicious? Why am I so vicious? I got fired today! Is that a good enough reason for you? Harry, let's get out of here. Zippers. I got a friend that makes a fortune with zippers. Not only don't I know if I can get another job, I don't know what kind of a job to apply for. Just what is it I do? If you just stop feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> I've just started. Harry, don't you think you're going overboard? I mean, the, f the fact that you want to buy a bottle instead of stay in that bar, then you insist on buying a pint instead of a fifth. I mean, maybe you're trying too hard. You can't hit rock bottom in one night, you know. You have to work at it. Ha ha. That's probably the kind of joke you rich people tell when you get together at your secret rich people's places. You'd be rich to most people, you know. I'd be unemployed for everybody. Harry, I'll give you a job. That's arrogant, Marvin. As a matter of fact, that's kind of tacky. It's, it's tacky of me to, to, to offer you a job? That, a, that takes a sort of complicated logic, doesn't it? I mean, you're going to have to explain that to me. I may be a little thick. It's tacky because it's a sneaky way of getting it in that you have a job and I don't. But, but if I didn't have a job, a business, then I couldn't offer you a job. You're not serious. Anyway, you'd probably pass out if I ever took it. When have I ever conned you, Harry? When? Harry, I want you to work for me. Now, if you don't believe me... I believe you! I believe you, you dirty egomaniac! I believe you get some sort of perverted kick out of being my boss! Marvin? Yeah. When I got fired today, I didn't know whether to go off by myself or go home to my wife or go and see you. I'm glad I went to see you. Thank you, Harry. I appreciate that. Did you ever have any pets when you were a kid? French poodle. Can you imagine giving a boy a French poodle? I called him Spike, but even that didn't help. 
Can we be honest for a minute? Absolutely. Are you drunk? No. Neither am I. You realize what that means? It means we're doing all of this sober. Which gives you some idea how big my problems are. Well, I've I got problems too, you know. Are you interested at all in my problems? We spent the whole night on yours, you know. Well, mine's pretty big. Well, so's mine. All right, what is it? I want to leave my wife. Thanks a lot for the interest, Harry. Oh, well, you must have told me that 10, 20 times before. Okay. Okay, you want to hear something I've never told you before? My wife is eight years older than I am. Now, I mean, when I was 26 and she was 34, it was exciting. But now it's just... just eight years older. I never knew that. I never knew she was older than you. Most people don't. They just... just figure she looks bad for her age. It's her only vanity. <laughs> Looking bad for her age is her only vanity? I'm pouring my heart out to you, Harry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go on. I mean, if you were my age, or even a few years younger, it, it wouldn't be so hard to leave. But, but she's this middle-aged lady. You know, I have never said that out loud before, that, that my wife is this middle-aged lady. How do you leave a woman who, who makes you feel that guilty? That's not just, her doing it. Just thinking. Guilt stuff is in you. Do you know what she said to me this morning be, before I went to work? She said, if you ever leave, I'll kill myself. And this was just a normal breakfast. We had just finished our juice. She was even in a good mood. So what are you going to do? I don't know. You know, the best night of the week is the night of the poker game that doesn't even exist. You know what I want? The chance to have nothing to worry about but me. Yeah, but be careful. I'm not sure loneliness is all it's cracked up to be. Hey, it's late. Grab a bite before you go home? No, I'd better get right out home and see you then. Tell her you've been fired. I'm not going to tell her. If she doesn't find out, she won't have to worry. Well, she'll have to find out. No, she won't. I have six weeks severance. I just pretend I'm going to work every morning. Maybe by the time the money runs out, I'll have something else. That's very nice of you, Harry. Well... Why make her worry? Couldn't you have called? Couldn't you at least have been that considerate? Huh? How would you feel if I did that to you? you let me know right away? Well, you take everything so hard. I'm getting worse. Oh, Lord, I hate this job. It's okay. It's okay. I'll find something. All right, forget about me. <clears throat> Let's get down to business. I want you to have some new resumes made, and this time, say you finish college. How can oh, I... Please don't argue. Just do it. Okay. Harry... It's none of my business, but I still think I ought to warn you.
being out of work is going to put an enormous strain on all your relationships. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think some of that stuff has started happening already. My wife is getting a little... Shh, shh. Please, Harry. I know we've been very open with each other, but I'm just your employment counselor. And I don't know if we ought to be talking about your wife. What'd she do? Well, she's starting to talk crazy. She's got this idea in her head. It doesn't matter if I have a job or not. We'll get a trailer and travel around the country. And that's crazy? We've never even pulled off a decent picnic. She says she has problems, too. I know her problems. Her problem is her husband doesn't have a job. Harry, the thing to do is for you to be totally open with her. I mean, if you're angry with her, tell her. If you're afraid, tell her. I mean, you just can't sit on all this. You're right. You're right. I should have come to you earlier. It does something for me. I wish Lynn had someone like you to talk to. Where's Harry today? Oh, he had to go see his agent. You want something with it, Mom? Just some of these cookies I brought you. Okay. Oh, never mind. I'll just eat them out of the box. All right, but make sure you leave some for David. He made such a big fuss. I'm going to his favorite bakery for well, his I'll cookies. only take a few. You don't have to tell me how David loves these cookies. <laughs> I didn't buy him for me to have with my coffee. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Things must be very tough for you. No, no, actually they're not. As a matter of fact, last night Harry was so wonderful to be with. Do you know that he said that he was worried about money? He has never actually come out and said that straight out before. But me, there's something wrong with me. I mean, it was like I just couldn't stand it, that things were good. You know what I said to him? I said, um, well, if you're worried about money, why do you play poker every week? It's like there's a devil in charge of wives to some place that would make me ask a question like that. Does he win? Well, he breaks even almost every week. But what if, what if he should lose? I mean, how could he take that chance? Of course, I'm... I'm glad that he's got something that he gets enjoyment out of, you know, and when times are like this. And I'm, I'm glad he plays. There, you see? That's what I do now. I argue both sides of almost every question. I mean, I just, I can't, I can't get a solid hold on anything, you know? I mean, that's why I'm running on like this, Mom. I really need someone to talk to. Now, Lynn, listen to me. I just can't take money from you and Harry while he's out of work. I just can't. Mom, we haven't sent you any money for five weeks. I know that. I'm not an idiot. When I open up my mailbox and there's not a check, what I'm trying to tell you is that it's okay. Thanks. Harry! And see you today. Oh, you silly Sorry. man, come on in here. Harry, stop playing games and come in and tell me what happened. I'm seeing my agent in 20 minutes and I'm feeling okay, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling a little optimistic. Well, if it makes you feel so good, why didn't you see him a long time ago? Because I needed an idea good enough for him to try and sell and I think I finally have it. I wonder if I should just give it to him or I should tell it to him. Oh, no, tell him. Tell him he can't get your enthusiasm off a piece of paper. Right. Right. Well, I gotta go. Oh, and listen, come right back and tell me what happened, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I promised to meet Lynn right afterwards. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, uh, will you call? Sure. Sure. Wish me luck. Uh, with your enthusiasm, you don't need luck. Right. Wish me luck anyway. Luck. Thanks. All for the luck there is. Thanks. I've come up with something I've been working on for, uh... A daytime panel show that I think is ready to take to somebody. Sounds good. Who represents you? What do you mean? Well, I mean, who, who represents you? Who's your agent? You are. I, I don't follow. You've been my agent for four years, and you haven't known it? If I were your agent, I'd know it, so let's just keep calm, all right? Uh, my name is Joe Forrest. I know, I know your name! You don't know my name! That's the problem. 
You're Harry Evers, and until five weeks ago, you produced Let's Chance It. Okay? No. Not okay. Because you're my agent, and you don't know it. This is a large agency. People shift around a lot. It's perfectly understandable how you could forget who... Yeah! I you're my agent. I may not be able to get another job, but I can get you to admit that you're my agent. Marianne, will you get me the client list, please? Uh, thank you, dear. This will just tell us which one of us is mistaken. Here we are. You, you know how these things happen. No, Joel, Jolie, I don't. Well, you see, you were transferred to me four years ago when Bert left the agency. It's a different setup. When you're working all the time... Let's get a good, firm grip on what we've discovered, the two of us here today. Fine, fine. Um, you've been my agent for four years. This agency has collected 10% of my salary for four years, is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. That means that for four years, I have paid 10 cents on every dollar I made to an agency where my agent didn't know that he was my agent. Is that true? Uh, Would you say that that was true? Yeah, I guess I could say that. So, what I want to know is, what are you going to do about it? That's what happened. That actually happened. So, that's it. I'm finished. I don't know what else is left. I said, so that's it. I'm finished. I don't know what else is left. You're not finished. With that kind of encouragement, it's hard not to be optimistic. What do you want? Do you know what it's like for me? Do you know what it's like for me? No. I know you don't. Well, what's it like? Awful! Well, I knew that much. Oh, the new resumes. I tell you that you can pick out any college in the United States to graduate from, and you pick CCNY? I don't think I'm cut out for the Ivy League. What about Berkeley? No, I wouldn't fit in there. The Big Ten? No, there's a bunch of jocks. The University of Chicago? That's where I always wanted to go. Okay, that's where you went. Now think about where you always wanted to get your master's from. Oh, and Harry... Knock a couple of years off your age, huh? I already did. Yeah, I know. Are you, uh, still staying away from the house a lot? Just Thursday nights and during the days. Harry, if you just wouldn't be so on guard with her, tell her how you feel. Will you try? Maybe. Now, come on, Harry, please. Okay. I mean, maybe. I will, I will. I'll try. I'll try to be more honest with her. Don't put it off. Try tonight. Oh, I can't tonight. Why not? She thinks I'm playing poker. Stinker, saying something to me like that when I'm asleep. Honey? Mm -hmm. 
how you're doing. Okay. Why don't you get up? You don't want to stay in bed all day long. That's no good. It's just gloomy and depressing. Mm. What time is it? 6.30. Well, that's the time you used to get up, and I thought it would be good for you to keep the same pattern as when you were working. It's only been six weeks. It isn't Appalachia yet. Yeah, but you said you had an appointment today. You don't have to be delicate. Going to unemployment isn't an appointment. It's a line. I can apply any day. I'll do it tomorrow. Harry, come on. I'll do it tomorrow. <clears throat> it's not charity. It's insurance. You pay for it. You might as well, Harry. It's like throwing away $75 every week. Forget it. Do what you want. Do you love me? Yes. Thanks. You ask me every five minutes. I don't ask you every five minutes. And if you volunteered the information once in a while, I wouldn't have to ask you every five fifteen minutes. You're not kidding anybody, you know. You act as if you feel the same way about me as when I was working. But how come we haven't mm -hmm, mm, since I was fired? Because you haven't wanted to. And why haven't I wanted to? I don't know. Neither do I. Which shows you how screwed up everything is. Harry. Mm -hmm. David's church group is having a softball game this afternoon. Why don't you go with them? David's what? His church group. Since when does he belong to a church group? They have the best gym in town, so he joined. Oh. What religion is he? Presbyterian. That's good. Boy, oh boy, it's funny how rusty you get. I don't think I ever struck out three times in a row in my life. You didn't strike out. I didn't? No. Well, what did I do? You just want to talk about it, right? Why should I want to talk about the fact that I was up three times and hit two home runs and a double? I mean, there have to be a million more interesting subjects than uh, being up three times and hitting two home runs and a double. You gonna play in the next game? Well, I don't know. I mean, I can't be sure I'll always have my afternoon street. Are you worried about finding another job? What, are you crazy? Why would I quit my job if I was worried about finding another one? What a day, what a day. It's just I wish you'd feel like telling me the truth. What am I supposed to be lying about? About feeling so great about being out of work. Why do you have to act like you feel so great? What's doing this to you? Going to that camp or becoming a Protestant? Doing what to me? Okay. I got fired. I didn't quit. And even though I'm sure everything will be fine, I'm still a little worried. You're after? Yeah.
What is it? I didn't sleep last night. I know it. I thought you were awake. I thought you were awake. Well, then why didn't we say something? And that's so awful. There we are both lying in the same bed and we're so, so alone. Oh, you make it sound so depressing. You have this way of making me feel terrible about saying what we both know. Well, just because we both know it doesn't mean that we have to talk about it, does it? Yes, it does. I want to know what's wrong. Please. Don't you think this is the worst possible time to start straightening out the marriage? Sure. 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 You want some more coffee? Yes, I would. Uh, what about you uh, annoys your husband the most? That I talk on the phone too long. <laughs> annoys you most about him beats me up um, that's what i should do produce the first television program where everybody had to give real answers oh i know he doesn't like to go to the show unless it's some sexy movie <laughs> that was an accident I was aiming at you. Mm. And it shattered, you know, it really just, really just shattered. Glass all over the place. Mm. Mm. How's that? How's mm. that feel, huh? It's painful. It's painful? I have a bad back. Well, why'd you say so? I kept hoping it would feel good. Oh, Harry. She's never done anything like that before. What's wrong, Mrs. Bender? I don't know. All I know about is finding people jobs. Oh, did you find anything? No. Yet? I'm having some new resumes made up. And this time, I write up myself. You know what I'm considering? Having an affair. You know what you have the habit of doing, Marvin? You have the habit of assuming what you want, everybody wants. Yeah, but everybody wants the same thing. I mean, like, I wish I didn't have to go home tonight. I wish I could just get on a boat and go somewhere. You, you know I even started carrying around my passport? What's your wife's picture doing here? That's a Mr. and Mrs. But you can use it by yourself. That's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take off and go to Europe on the spur of the moment, and uh, I'll just... I'll buy whatever I need when I get over there. You're never going to do a thing like that. I am so going to do a thing like that. A a as soon as I can think of, of a reason my wife will accept for, for leaving her. Without her being upset or at all angry. Well, of course. Well, that's not impossible. I bet you didn't believe that, uh, that I'd buy a famous painting and, and donate it to a museum. Is that why you had me meet you here? That's what I'm trying to do, you know, with all that zipper money, get kicks like seeing something I own on a, on a museum wall. It's pretty good. Uh, is this the entire collection? Sure. That, that thing costs $4,000. How many do you think I'd buy? <laughs> Seeing a painting with my name on it in the Museum of Modern Art leaves me absolutely cold. Boo. Oh, hi. Hi, Lois. I oh, came uh, down to see our painting. How are you, Harry? Hi. Were you surprised that my husband donated a painting? Yes, I was. I certainly was. Aren't you and my husband going to be late for your poker game? Oh, yeah, we, uh, we forgot. We, we, oh, I ought to get going. Uh, can you be late for your poker game? We could, we could all have dinner together. 
Well, it wouldn't wouldn't be fair. I don't. I don't think. Fair to the other Harry, I was sorry to hear your news. Which news is that? About your being fired. We 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 ought to get going. Don't don't wait up, Bill. Oh, I'll wait up. What else do I have to do? I wait up even when you're there. Lois, I I don't understand what that means. You're not a woman. We better get going. Harry, Marvin and I are exactly the same age. I know, and she's getting worse all the time. That, that's why I'm afraid she she'd really do something if I left without the perfect excuse. There is no perfect excuse for leaving your wife. Please don't do this. Will you please come? Aren't you even going to write him a note? Oh, you saw me try. I don't know what to put in it. It all comes out like daytime television. Well, well, then talk to him. All right, if you'll come with me now, the next week I'll have dinner with Daddy and we'll talk everything out. And then after that, the three of us will talk everything out, okay? But right now, I've got to get away. All right, I'll write a note. Will you take your bag down, please? Marvin, I'm thinking of having an affair. You're feeling guilty. You stop thinking that everyone is like you. I'm not guilty. The fact remains that I have this sense of morality. Against having affairs? I've, I read in a magazine this week that uh, there's a movement in religion where they say uh, affairs are okay. No, no, I read that. You went over it too fast. It just said that people are talking about their affairs with this minister, not that it's okay. Anyway, I have nothing against affairs. It's just that I can't tell someone I don't love that I love them. Well, then don't. I love you, Harry. Yes, darling, it's true. I love you. Bet you were really surprised when they called. Not a bit, because I knew it was there between us. I knew that one night I'd be saying, I love you, Harry, and you'd be saying. I'm terribly uncomfortable. Oh, you're sick. Are you shy? Is that it? It's shyness, isn't it? Harry? Do you want to know something? I've never told another human being. God, no. Harry, listen. No, Anne, please. Sometimes people rush intimacy along a little too fast. Yeah. They tell each oh, other no, no, things. Oh, no, no, I want to tell you. I, I must tell you. I'm going to. Okay. Harry, I am shy. Surprised? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> Harry, it's true. It's true, I am shy. But it helps to say, I love you. To say it, I love you. It's good to say, I love you. I love you. Oh, it's good to say, I love <coughs> I'd like you to get out of here.
think he saw it. No, I guess he didn't. Then everything's okay? Sure it is. He slept through our whole separation. Just what you needed to make your life terrific. An affair. You need something. You need a job. I need to think that life is better than this. Another woman, is that what you need? All right, let's not talk about it, all right? Oh, Harry, everything's gonna be so different for the two of you when you start working again. You know something funny? I don't think they will be. I'll tell you something else. I don't think I'll ever be working again, either. That's how much you know. I'm just so close to something. What? Vice president in charge of sales at a pharmaceutical house. I don't have the background for anything like that. On your resume, you do. I had them convinced they were lucky to get you. And then the worms checked. You probably had me up to Ph.D., didn't you? I probably could have gotten by with that one if I hadn't made you 26. Well, Mrs. Bender, it's really cheered me up dropping in like this. Let me know if you ever find me a job. Right now, I have to go and meet my friend Marvin and be brought up to date on how much money he has. So, if you'll excuse me... Harry? Goodbye. Harry, Marvin on the phone. Where are you? I I'm with Lois. Harry, you have to wait for me. Well, how long are you going to be? Uh, somewhere between 15 minutes and five hours. Harry, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to get out of my marriage. I finally found the perfect excuse. It's, it's an incredible lie. I just, I just hope I, I don't have to use it. And you want me to wait for five hours? Harry, I, I need to know I'll be able to talk to you when this is over. I, I'm really doing it, Harry. I mean, I, I, I can't be alone after a thing like that. I mean, it's, it's bad enough Lois has to be alone. Marvin, you're not going to do it. I really am. I, I have a, a passport and, and a checkbook and... Very soon now, I'm I'm going to be able to, to go wherever I want. Then what do you want to come to this bar for? Harry. All right. I'll wait right here. Thanks. It's a little, uh, little warm, isn't it? Uh, a little. Good idea, that'll, that'll make you feel better. It really, really feels good. I was really feeling warm there. Better now? Yes. Good. Okay. When are you going to tell me how come? How come? Well, this is the first time you've ever taken me out for dinner before your poker game. How come? <laughs> what, are you feeling guilty that you uh, run off every Thursday night, leave me all alone? All right, Lois. Dog, I'll tell you why I, I brought you here rather than speaking to you at the house. I, I thought that you, you'd be less likely to, to scream in a in a public place. <laughs> the only thing that I can think of that you could possibly tell me to make me want to scream is, Lois, um, please scream. <clears throat> it's, it's not what I had in mind. Well, uh, don't drag it out. You, you know how I hate things dragged out. Well, I, I just... I... Don't drag out. Lois, I'm going to leave you. 
Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I should have been smart enough to, to do this at home. F forget about it for right now. We'll wait till we get home. Wait? You want me to wait? I can't wait! All right. I can't wait! All right. Ah! 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 All right. I, I've been thinking about this for, for a long time, and I, I really think it's, it's the best thing for, for both of us. Well, it's not the best thing for me. For me, it's the worst possible thing. Funny. The worst. Honey, you're always telling me what, what a rotten husband I am. You're not. You're a wonderful husband. But, but you're always complaining, huh? I lied. You're a fine husband. And, and, and you're a good wife, I, I, I guess. Thank you. <sighs> oh, but, but that doesn't solve anything. Do you want to take a trip? By yourself. But we'd still see each other. I mean, th this isn't that bad. I mean, it, 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 divorce isn't anything. I, I really don't want to hear that word, divorce. I really don't. I'm afraid you're going to have to, because that, that's what I want. You're going to leave me alone. Even though you know my true age you're going to do that to me for what for divorce can you be that that selfish that incredibly self-centered is that what you want me to believe i can't believe that i can't believe it that any human being could be that selfish That, that was fantastic. I mean, you, 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 you almost had me going there. Lois, I, I have to do this. Be I'm going to take all the money. I'm going to get Louis Neiser. And Mr. Neiser and I will get all the money. There, there's plenty of money. Plenty for both of us. I mean is when you're out at night you'll never know whether that's the night that I decided to blow my head off Lois I'm uh, I'm going to tell you the real reason why I have to leave now if if you feel the same way after I've told you. Then I'll stay. you'd wait for me. You fall asleep? You did it, huh? Did you have to use that excuse of yours? I had to. It made it much easier for both of us. Well, what was it? 
You know what would be wonderful? It would be wonderful if human beings didn't feel they had to know everything. Like that you could just feel good for me that, that I got through it without having this awful curiosity. You've spent months boring hell out of me with your hunt for the perfect excuse. And you told me you found it. And I've waited over five hours so that you'd have company after you used it. So I think you'd better tell me what it is. That was, it was no big deal. I just I told Lois I had turned into a fruit. Now can we get going? You mean you actually kept a straight face and told her? I had to. I mean, you, you, you have no idea how, how bad it was getting. You know, when I told her I turned into a sissy, there was this calm, this wonderful, calm, gentle understanding. A few gentle tears. We were really closer than we've ever been. It was, it was beautiful. I was almost wishing it were true. She just accepted it? She asked some questions, mostly technical. And she accepted it. Marvin, are you, are you a hundred percent absolutely sure it isn't true? That's really insulting, Carla. Well, I never knew a man to lie about a thing like that. Not that. I mean, to say he was when he wasn't. <laughs> that's, that's a real first. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? Forget about the money. Look! It's the first time I ever saw a boat this size. And you thought I'd never do it. How long are you going to stay over there? That's the fantastic thing. I don't know. You know, I almost feel like I... I should do something symbolic, like just... just throw my watch overboard, you know? But it's a... I just got it, you know? Nice watch. Oh, thank you. Maybe you have something else symbolic on you. Maybe I do. Of course, what, what could be better than throwing away all the keys to those locked doors? The car? The office? Of course. My house. One key. Do it this. I'm going to miss you. Yeah, you, you told me that already. Oh, did I tell you I'd like to punch you in the mouth for having all the breaks? Yeah.
You know, I'm a, I'm a little worried about you, the, the job thing and all. I got an offer to produce these industrial shows for conventions. That's pretty good, huh? Gee, industrial shows? Yeah, I, th I think... Uh, I think it's a garbage job, Harry. Will you please lie? But you, you, you'd be better off working for me. I mean, all the zipper money coming in, we, we could have some fun, we, we could invest in things. I mean, why, why not? Because of the obvious. Because of this incredibly obvious thing that you're only offering a job to me because we're friends. But why is that a bad reason? I don't know. It's just a rule. You don't, you just don't work for friends. Everybody knows that, Marvin. Look, Harry, I'm offering you a job. I, I think you want to take it, but I, I'm not going to argue with you forever. Now, now, what is it? Yes or no? Do you really need me at your place? No. Why don't you ever lie to me? Because, because I don't need you. I mean, I, I want you to work for me. I, I can sure use you. But I don't need you. I mean, why can't you see... I'll take the job. I'll take the job. Now, shut up. This isn't going to work. Am I working for you? Well, why not? Because I'm embarrassed to ask you what my salary is. Now, do you... What is it? Oh... I forgot to tell Lynn I'd be late. The police said if he were dead, they'd know. Yeah, but what about if he's just hurt? What then? Well, somebody would find him. Oh, sure, this is New York. People are always having heart attacks and then getting stepped over because other people think they're drunks. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello, Mrs. Reynolds. What are you doing there? Oh. No, you don't have to call Lynn. Would you just... Harry? I'm going to be a little late, honey. A little late? Harry, it's Friday. Oh, oh. well, after the game, Marvin uh, decided to get a divorce and go to Europe. So... No. No, sweetheart. I called all those people. I, I know that there is no more game and that there hasn't been for months. Honey, I got a job. Marvin finally talked me in. Harry, what have you been doing on Thursdays for the last three months? Oh, the old game broke up. That was the old game, but there's a new game. Mm -hmm. Who's in it? Me, Marvin, Juan. You know uh, what I thought of when I first found out? I thought of that time after David's camp when I asked you to stay home so we could love each other. And you said you had to play poker. Lynn, this is really crazy nuts. I mean, I really haven't been doing anything wrong. Why do I have to be afraid of taking one night a week for myself? You can take them off for yourself, Harry. Seven nights a week. It was so incredibly predictable that you would say exactly that. <laughs> yeah, well, everything about us is becoming predictable. Our unhappiness is predictable. Honey, take it easy. I'll be home in a little while. No, no, I don't want to be pacified anymore, Harry. I don't want to, I don't want to talk it over. I don't want to argue about it. I don't want to put it or us through the ringer anymore. I don't want to be nice about it. I don't want to be ugly about it. I, don't, I, I just want to let go. Something's wrong. <laughs> where, 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 where are you going? I'm not sure. Why? Well, you could, you could come along with me. You go home and get your passport. Get back in time to sail for Europe. 
and we could spend a month or so having wonderfully shallow relationships with 20-year-old girls, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I can't get over it. What? That we could really do that. I mean, that I have a choice. So? So in a couple hours we could be on board checking out the women. I mean, we could really be doing that. Actually be on our way. Right. Because you're going. I mean, you really are going. And I could go with you. I don't feel I have to, so I must want to. Hey, have a hell of a time. You too. Isn't it incredible that this is... This is being happily married. See ya. Harry. Oh, I know. Take care of yourself. I make him wear his shoulder harness here. I'll see you all the time. Of course you will, because you're not going anywhere. Nobody's leaving. Nobody ever has, and nobody ever will. But we did leave once. It's just you were asleep and didn't know. David, come on. I'll see you all the time. What do you mean I was asleep and didn't know? Harry, marriage is give and take. Thank you. Well, your mother just cleared up the whole thing. She said marriage is give and take. How do I make this all stop? I don't think you can. Yes, I can. Somewhere there's a perfect thing I can say that'll make you change your mind. I love you. Please don't go. I need you. You need me. What about David? I'll change. You'll change. We'll both change. I don't want you to change. I want you just the way you are. Everything's gonna be all right. I'll go crazy. Right. Well, we don't have to settle anything right now because I'm pretty sure you'll be back. This isn't going to work. I'm not being together. We've got to try.
is what I call happy I mean this is what I call high Yesterday I was down Today I'm aimed at the sky I mean wasn't I damn near finished How come I just arrived This is what life is all about I mean this is called Being alive The gravity The grinding, the never finding a permanent place to park with a person you know so well you can show how scared you are of the dark. You mean this is what you call happy you mean this is what you call free well if this is what you call laughing and crying and loving and trying then this is what I call being me